Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another ink comparison video and this is Brown Inks Comparison number three. So I think with that, let's go and swab up some of these inks. So I get a lot of questions on how I do these ink videos. So I decided I would add this to the front of each of the ink videos. I put links in the descriptions, but I know some of you watch this on TVs or mobile devices, so you don't get to see this. So first off, the paper is the number one question that I get asked. What paper do I use for these ink comparison videos? So this is the original Tomare River this is 52 GSM and it is the white, not the cream, the white. Where possible, I try to go for the white because the cream can actually change the color of the ink just a little bit. So this is Tomoe River 52 GSM in the white. Um, a lot of people get confused as well because I have what looks to be a grid on this page and it's actually an Oxford Optic pad these are the pads that i actually use when i'm writing my uh, writing samples for pen reviews or in my currently ink so they have these little squares up here uh, i just use that because it's a good guide for me when i put this very thin sheet of tomoe river over i can actually see squares so it helps me write a little bit sort of straight uh, on the page not always but sometimes it does the, the other thing that I also have is a I have a bottle of water, plain water, and uh, I dip my nib in here. So for consistency, I use the same fountain pen, or <laughs> I guess it's not a fountain pen. It's using a fountain pen nib, though. This is a 3D printed pen from William Shakur in the UK. So he prints this uh, material 3d and it has a number eight size bock nib which i can unscrew and you can see there so it is just a dip pen holder for a number eight size bock nib and the idea is i want to have consistency with the writing sample so i use this i dip it in the ink uh, I write and then I will dip it in here and I will rinse the nib off several times and I will dry it and then at that point uh, I will then go on to do the next ink swatch and the next writing sample. So there you have it, that's uh, how I do my ink swatches. So I just wanted to show you uh, that here. Now on to the ink comparison video. So the first ink we have here today is Diamine Honey Burst. So it will do an ink swatch first, and I am going to say that this, is this a brown, is it not a brown? I would say in the loosest of terms, it probably is a brown. It's a very, very light brown. It definitely is a honey color. We're gonna do a second pass over the top half of this ink swatch. And I get a lot of questions for this, and this is just to denote the difference between what a wet writing nib, the ink color would look like, and a dry writing nib. Also to try and capture some of the pulled ink so that you can see shading, and possibly if there's any sheen as well. So this is Diamine, and it is Honey Burst. And this is part of the Gibson Les Paul guitar series of inks. The next ink is Diamine, and this is Golden Brown. So we'll do another ink swatch here. And yes, this is more of a golden, light and sort of tan brown color that you see here. And I have to say that this is an ink that I've been using a lot lately. So again, we'll do a second pass over the top half of the ink swatch to try and show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib and also to try and show some shading and sheen there as well. So this is Diamine and it is Golden Brown. 
but I'd have to say that that is a, a nice light golden brown color. It's been one that I've been using quite a bit recently, and I have to say I do like it. I also have to say that I have used Diamine Honey Burst probably a little bit more, and again, that's another ink that is starting to speak to me a little bit more. The next ink here is Diamine Cherry Sunburst, which is also part of the Gibson Les Paul guitar series of inks. So we'll do another ink swatch here. And this obviously is a lot more of a darker brown compared to the first two inks. But you can see there it's starting to lighten up as it gets a bit drier. We'll do another second pass on the top half. just to show the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib and see if we can try and pick up some of that shading there. So this is Diamine. And it is Cherry Sunburst. And it does look a lot more cherry-like, this ink. And it's an ink I've used a little bit, not a lot, but it may be an ink that I will have to look at a little bit more inking up some pens. The next ink here is Diamine, and this is Desert Burst. And again, this is a, another Gibson Les Paul guitar series of inks. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is an ink that I like a lot. It's a typically golden brown. And I have to say that I do like that color. We'll do a second pass again, just to try and show some of the shading there and the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. So this is Diamine. And it's Desert Burst. But this is a bit of a U there. But this is a really nice color brown ink for me. And I'd have to say is definitely becoming a favorite light brown. I like that diamond golden brown quite a bit. Uh, the honey burst I like in a pen that is, has a little bit more honey uh, color to the pen. But that diamond desert burst. Certainly in the writing sample is quite a nice color. The next brown ink I have here is Diamine and it's Tobacco Sunburst. And again, another Gibson Les Paul guitar series of inks. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is quite a nice brown. You can see it's getting lighter there as the ink becomes a little bit less. We'll do a second pass over the top half. And I'm hoping that some of these browns will show a little bit more shading properties. Uh, browns typically don't show a lot of sheen. So I'm not really expecting much sheen from uh, these inks. So this is Diamine. And it's tobacco. And it's sunburst. But again, that's quite a nice color ink. I'd say at this moment in time, it looks very similar to Diamine Desert Burst. And then the last brown we have is a KWZ ink. And this is a Pen Show exclusive for the Newcastle Pen Show. And this is called Newkey Brown. And if you don't know, if you're not from the UK, Newkey Brown is the nickname for Newcastle Brown Ale. And this is also the kind of label that Newcastle Brown Ale has. Very nice brown ale. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a more of a darker brown. But this is a brown I have been using a lot as well. Uh, I did actually buy, well, this second part here on the top, 
to show the difference between a wet and dry nib and some shading. Uh, I did actually buy two bottles of this uh, at the London Pen Show in July uh, 2021. And I have to say, I do not regret buying it because it is a beautiful brown ink. And it's a brown ink that I have been writing with a lot. So this is KWZ. This is probably a little bit too wet there. And this is a new key brown. But that is a beautiful brown ink and fastly becoming one of my favorite browns. So I think let's take a look at these inks now that they have dried. So the first ink here is Diamine Honey Burst. And this is a very beautiful honey color. And I have to say, I am really liking this. I do find though that the a lot of the pens, if I put it in a Yovo nib, it does tend to write a bit dry. So a little bit more uh, to towards this color. If you're using a wet nib, you can see it here in the writing samples. Uh, there is a little bit of shading. You can see around the, the edges of the pulled area. Now, is there any sheen? No, there is not. But then I wouldn't expect to have sheen on most brown inks. So to be honest, that really uh, doesn't bother me too much. The next ink here is Diamine Golden Brown. And uh, again, it's another interesting golden brown ink. Uh, I would say that this looks a little bit like uh, Pilot Washizuku in a hoe. Um, it's a little bit more golden brown, whereas in a hoe is a little bit more goldish color. But you can see the difference between a wet and a dry writing nib. The ink. Uh, the writing sample here of the ink uh, corresponds to the wet, but you do get quite a bit of shading and you can see a huge amount of shading there in that ink swatch. So that is quite nice. Um, you cannot see any sheen there though. Again, typically you don't see this on a brown colored ink. The next ink here is Diamine Cherry Sunburst and this is a, a nice uh, colored ink. It's more on the cherry side, so it's more of a reddish brown. Uh, you can definitely see a huge difference between the wet and the dry writing part. Like golden brown uh, and also honey burst, it is quite dry. So the first part of the ink, if you've got a um, nib that is either a dry writing nib or it's an extra fine or fine, then you might find it will show up as this lighter color and not the darker color. So if you're picking inks based on the color or the color swatch, just remember wet versus a dry writing nib or a broader versus a narrower writing nib. Now there is quite a bit of shading going on there, maybe not as much as Diamine Golden Brown. I'll show you this up a little bit more closely. Uh, again, there is no sheen there either but it's not something that I would normally expect from a brown ink. The next ink here is Diamine Desert Burst, and I'd have to say that it's probably about one shade lighter than Diamine Golden Brown, and probably one shade uh, lighter than Diamine Tobacco Sunburst. So it's an interesting shade of ink, uh, you can definitely see the difference between a wet versus a dry writing nib or a broad versus a narrow. Uh, there is a lot of shading going on again in that ink, maybe a little bit less than Diamine Golden Brown. Uh, now, can you see any sheen there? Let's see. There is probably a slight amount of sheen around the edges, but it's so, so small that you're really not going to see it. But again, this is a lovely uh, shading ink. So if you're into shading inks and you're into brown inks, then maybe pick up this one because this is quite a nice shading ink. Same as uh, Diamine Golden Brown. The next ink here is Diamine and it's Tobacco Sunburst. 
And again, this is a shade darker than uh, Diamine Desert Verse or a couple of shades darker than Diamine Golden Brown. You can really see the difference between a wet versus a dry or a broad versus a narrow writing nib. This writing sample is a very wet nib, so you are going to see it's quite wet like you would here. Now, again, there is shading going on. I will show you this up close here. Uh, is there sheen? No, really there isn't. Uh, but it is a beautiful brown ink. So again, if this is a brown ink, if you're into brown inks, then this could be the ink for you. I know typically a lot of people aren't into brown inks. I wasn't into brown inks to start with, but they have grown on me over the last few years. And I tend to write a lot more with brown inks now. So I think over the t over time, our tastes do change. And whether or not it's in inks, whether or not it's in pens, uh, or even notebooks or paper, they do change over time. So the last thing I have here, and uh, some of this is still a little bit wet, especially this writing sample, because uh, I did pour on the ink a little bit too much there. Uh, this is KWZ. Newkey Brown, so Newcastle Brown Ale. Uh, this you can see the difference between a wet, broad, and dry or narrow writing nib. Uh, it's a little bit more of an orangey brown on a dry or narrow writing nib. A lot more of a darker brown, saddle kind of brown on a wet or broader writing nib. Uh, you certainly can see the difference there. Uh, you can also see a lot of shading going on as well. Now, I'm going to show this up close a little bit more. There is sheen on this ink, and quite a lot of it. It doesn't. It's not a standout golden sheen, uh, but it is a lot of sheen nevertheless. So, although I said you do not typically see sheen on brown inks, you can, and this is one of them. And you can also see that that. Uh, writing sample there is quite wet and quite dark. I'm not really seeing sheen on that, but this is an ink that you can get sheen on. So if you're looking particularly for a brown ink that has sheening properties, then definitely look at KWZ Nuki Brown. Now, I will say though, this is a UK pen show exclusive. This was a Newcastle pen show exclusive. Uh, you can still find this on the Tweeko table or the John Twist table at uh, most of the UK pen shows, certainly the London pen show. But you're probably not going to see it much outside of that because it is a UK pen show exclusive. You might find somebody selling it on eBay, on virtual pen show or uh, one of uh, those other online markets. But typically... Uh, this is a pen show exclusive, so very difficult to get hold of. You can't pick this up at just any retailer. So that's my brown inks comparison number three video. If you like any of these inks, then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any inks that you have very close to this or that you would also like to be compared, then do let me know in the comments below. So that's my brown inks comparison number three video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.